Hey everyone, welcome back over here and uh, this is one of the highly requested video because uh, many of the people who are messaging me on Instagram how long do you work for, do you get any leave, do you get any holidays or anything so in this all the doubts would be cleared and thank you for bringing such awesome suggestions so I can bring such videos to you if you need this one in Hindi please click down Hindi mein chahiye to please niche mention karo ठीक है और प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी फॉर दिस लुक बिकॉज यू नेवर सीन मी वेरिंग दिस हैंड ऑफ जैसी यूर इन जैप प्रेफर चूज द मेकअप एंड नॉट टू वेयर एनी थिंग इन माई ईयर्स बट यू ऑल सजेस्टेड प्लीज वेयर समथिंग सो या वी गो सो इट्स इट्स अबाउट अ कैबिन क्रू जॉब इज एग्जैक्टली अ नॉर्मल जॉब बट इट्स क्वाइट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर जॉब सो यू नो इफ यू वर्किंग इन एन ऑफिस यू माइट बी वर्किंग लाइक नाइन टू फाइव और Eight to five, anything you know. It's but it's like fixed. You know, some people work for like eight to nine hours a day. Some work for like ten. Uh, people who might be working in hotels, they might stretch up to like twelve hours, which are like really high. Okay. Uh, for cabin crew, it's uh, on the simpler side, but it's very difficult to understand. Now, it all depends upon uh, what is the law of your country to uh, make the cabin crew fly a certain number of hours a month or a certain amount of duty a month. or uh, depends upon the airline as well okay now some people might be having like two work offs in a week some might be having one but and also it depends upon the airline where the cabin crew gets one work off a week or they might be getting like two work offs a week so we'll talk about that so you you know it depends upon the flight they give you enough rest okay uh let me tell you guys that if you fly like for say Seven hours. If let's say domestic flight, okay. If you fly for like three hours, you do one sector. I mean, you go from one place to another, land over there. You might get a layover or not, okay. Since you've flown only for three sectors, your layover might not be for that long, okay. But if you fly for like three three hours, then you go to another place. From that place, you know, you might be flying like three or four sectors. Sector means you go from one place to another, then fly from that place to another. Okay, and that's kind of very tiring. You know, take off, landing, take off, landing. Okay, so with that, once you finish, you might come back to your base city, or else you might get a layover. This is about domestic. Okay, first of all, I'm going to talk about domestic. Okay, so the layover is mostly for like 24 hours. Mostly 24 hours, or it might be a little bit lesser, a little bit more as well. So isn't that amazing, guys? I mean, see, if you're doing an office job, you might go to the office, come back after like 12 hours, you have to go back again. But in a layover, you go rest in the hotel, go explore the city or whatever you want to do for like 24 hours or more, approximately. Okay, that's one benefit that you get. Like you get a rest for 24 hours. You get that, guys. You fly for seven or eight hours. Then you get a layover. You might be flying for around like twelve hours as well, but they cannot make you exceed a certain uh, limit of hours. Why? Because you will be stressed. You might be facing fatigue as well, and in that situation, you might not be able to take care of the passengers, right? Which is why they have a limit. Now, I cannot tell you exactly what what the limit is because, as I said, it depends upon the country and the airline, right? But let's say, for example, I have taken like twelve hours. Okay, after that, you get a layover, you come back. Okay, this is about layovers. I also told you if you do not get a layover, you just fly, come back to your home city. Okay, now. As I have checked with most of the now, this is not specifically related to any other airline. But as much as I have checked with people who fly internationally or people who fly over here in India, it's around like you know 70 to 80, which is like you know a uh, kind of uh, an average or the approximate amount which a cabin crew is made to fly in a month, including domestic and international flights. Okay, 70 to 80 hours. Okay, and these are just the flying hours, guys. Just the flying hours when you take off and you land. This doesn't include the time when you have to report earlier for your flight. For example, if my flight is at a specific time, I have to report a little bit earlier. Okay, it depends. International for international, I report two hours earlier. Domestic, I report an hour thirty minutes prior. So count that time separately as well, guys. Also, when the land, uh, when uh, You get into the aircraft. The boarding is done. Passengers board. Similarly, when the passengers go, the deboarding is done. So that time is also not counted in your flying hours. Right? Flying just means you take off and land, 
rest of the time is your duty time it is not your flying hours okay like you all keep asking me what is the amount that you fly but i cannot tell you what exactly how much a cabin crew flies and this is as a cabin crew profession i'm not pointing out to any airline or anyone's exact information because i do not know about that okay? right so that's the flying and the duty period which i have informed you around 70 to 80 hours international and domestic which cabin crew flies you can even fly more if there is a requirement and also the best thing that you will get paid more for it if you fly more you get more which is a good thing sometimes people like it because they get extra salary however sometimes people do not like it they would rather prefer more rest instead of more salary okay that's one thing also it also depends upon where exactly you fly so this one of my friend who uh, flew uh, to US, uh, it, it was in Chicago, he said that one, when they get the Chicago layover, they get a 3 days layover, so guys spending 3 days in the US, say, isn't that amazing, uh, it's like a mini vacation, right, so it happens like that as well, 2 or 3 days layover, it exactly depends upon the airline, this is all about the flying hours guys, which I informed to you also, it depends upon the work of you, you know in between you get your standby and everything i cannot tell you stand what exactly is a standby standby is like you are available for the flight but you will be either at home or at the airport but you will not be flying but if there is any emergency wherein someone doesn't come to work for any reason you will be made to operate that flight that's a concept concept of a standby altogether differently uh, so this is about flying hours next thing is the leaves okay so leaves is um, uh, internationally if you fly, fly you get like 30 days of leaves so that you go back to your home country visit your family or anything so 30 days um, like in a, in, a, in a stretch you get it otherwise you can also accumulate or collect your leaves all together and take your leave same thing happens in India as well for India you know and most of the companies not just an airline any other office job as well you get two days there two two leaves per month so you know you can accumulate so you might be having 24 leaves a year okay so accordingly you plan and take your leaves collect seven days eight days and take your leaves like that so uh flying hours is done work off is done leaves are done holidays uh do you get public holidays absolutely not you know uh independence day uh Diwali, christmas new year big 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 no if luckily your work off falls on that day it's a good thing but uh if you apply for leaves you can do that like plan in advance you apply for leave you can get it but if a lot of people have applied for leave on that day you will not get it guys but this is all about it guys for festivals you will not get it and as i said if you're lucky you will get the work off on that day or um, else you have to operate the flight work and anyways it's a good profession because a few people are going from one place to another and meet their family right uh, so this is about the holidays uh, public holidays is done, flying hours is done, uh, weekly off and everything. Last thing that is, you know, uh, unplanned leave, which is uh, taking leave uh, without any prior uh, information or notice, without applying for your leaves and without having an off on that particular day. So, for example, uh, it's a family emergency or someone is sick in the family or anything, you know, someone, uh, anything happens, you know, so... For that, if someone wants to take a leave, you have to just inform your reporting boss, your manager, and take the leave. It's like that. What's going to happen after that is something that I would not be able to comment upon because it exactly depends upon different airlines. I cannot say. But yes, you can do that as well. But I cannot tell you what are the consequences after that. Okay. So that's uh, the emergency leave depending upon the situation. Last thing is a sick leave which is given in mostly all the airlines because see you're not perfect you're a human being in the end you can fall sick so uh, if it's a sick leave again it depends upon airline to airline what kind of policy how how much prior before to the flight you have to inform but then you get sick leaves as well wherein uh, you report sick and you get the leave again what are the consequences after that I cannot say because it's a, a, obviously a depends upon different airlines so guys uh, that's all i covered about uh, uh, the flying hours the rest and the holidays week off and your sick leave emergency leaves and everything in this video i hope you'll like this video guys if you need a similar one in hindi please comment down on, uh, below and please please guys follow me on instagram because i come live to answer your queries and i love doing that Bye bye